The exceptional environment of London's Somerset House plays host to the second edition of the 154 Contemporary African Art Fair. The interest in ethnic art has never really gone away, but it is usually the antique and traditional work which attracts attention. 154 is a platform for galleries, artists and curators involved in contemporary African creativity, and it is attracting a growing and appreciative audience. And 27 galleries on show here in the heart of historic London certainly know how to put on a show. Two years ago when I started the project, I thought it was really necessary to have a platform promoting artists coming from the continent or for a diaspora. I thought it didn't exist and I was wondering always why. And because nobody wanted to take it on, I decided to do it. And uh, I thought that Somerset House needed to be the place because they needed something grand uh, for, to represent African artists. And uh, it is really an experience. You come here, you're seduced by Somerset House, you're seduced by the art, so it's, it's all work out fine for us. We're very lucky because London is one of those cities that have galleries, you know, focusing on contemporary African artists. You have October Gallery, who has opened in 1979, which is present at the fair, but you have younger gallery like Jack Bell, you know, or Purdy Hicks, or you have also a roof, Knight Rufus, which is here with one solo show. And I think the problem is that we wanted to keep a balance between galleries coming from the continent and international galleries. 154 is a brilliant platform for us. Uh, London is increasingly uh, a global city. Last year we did the fair for the first time and we met new collectors from Italy, from France, from uh, Germany, from America. We had fantastic press coverage. It's small, it's digestible, it's a great alternative to, uh, to Freeze Art Fair, which people might be more familiar with, and it's in beautiful surrounds. Somerset House is, um, is an incredible place to be based. I do other art fairs. They're general, they're hard work. This is focused. I'm one artist, and I want him to, to kind of get out into the world. So it was, it's just right just the right size, you know, 27 galleries. So you're able to look in detail at everything, knowing that you can, can look at everything, it's not going to sort of take all day and tomorrow. Uh, the dealers appear very knowledgeable, it seems very well organised, and we're really thrilled to be here. We participated last year, uh, and I realised that it actually did attract quite a high calibre of clientele, and also press. So, and it also was in a very beautiful location, very central, you know, very attractive for clients to come to and very easy for clients to reach. Uh, I would see the growing interest in African art uh, partly due to young collectors who can finally afford to acquire very high quality work that has uh, political and social undercurrents. People have been given a, a chance to acquire the next Chris Ophelia without having to mortgage the house. Uh, but really we're dealing with a wide array of people. It's heavyweight collectors like Charles Saatchi, Frank Cohen, Jean Pagotzi, uh, to younger collectors in music, film, fashion, art. Uh, so there really is a wide audience and it's new and fresh art from part of the world which is changing shape um, at a very fast pace. People had not yet seen a huge presentation of contemporary African art in Europe except for the last few years when the international platforms became open to it. So it's, uh, you know, it's new, it's something to explore, it's something to get interested in. Uh, so I think for that reason, it, you know, contemporary African art is you know, also becoming very much to the forefront. We found Marcia's work three or four years ago when we were planning a major drawing exhibition, something that we do every couple of years in the gallery. And for this particular drawing exhibition, we wanted it to be uh, truly international. And the artist that we found and loved from Africa was Marcia, Marcia Cure, who made some beautiful watercolours, rather like the ones that we're showing here. Um, and we loved her work so much, decided it would be wonderful to bring her work to 154 so applied with it and we're delighted to, um, to get in and, and now we're here and really, really pleased and very proud to be showing her work. Um, Ajani is my involvement in African art. I, I, have, I have no other. So I'm based in Brixton and the gallery, when I first opened, Ajani just came in. Just came in with a bundle of paintings and I liked him. I didn't really understand the paintings. Then I did a project, a sort of community project and he, was the star. He 
did a very concise, very powerful picture in, in the gallery. From that point on, we decided to give him a show and we sold everything and he's developed so rapidly. He's a self-taught artist. He's a new entity for me, it's fantastic. You know, he tells stories. And all my other artists are very museum conscious. And Ajani's different. I think it's good that there are London galleries here because I think it makes people sort of realise what there is in London. And the same thing, it's good that it's not all London galleries. I think it's a really good mix. I think they've got it right. Uh, it'll give him a chance to stand out. He's a dedicated painter, loves the surface. There's a lot of you know, heavy oil bar use. And I think no one else here has taken materials to heart quite like that. So he'll be a kind of star, I hope. Four of our artists are currently exhibiting at the Saatchi Gallery in an exhibition entitled Pangaea, which is new art from Africa and Latin America. Uh, the Tate has also developed an acquisitions board, which is very exciting and we've seen our artists go from strength to strength. So we are planning for a third edition already. We're also planning for sister events under the 154 umbrella, but maybe changing the location over the year. So London is still going to be our base, so 154 at Somerset House will be the main event, but we're looking at formulas to do it in New York and in um, Africa.